हेलो एवरी वन हाउ आर यू ऑल होप यू आर ऑल डूइंग गुड वेलकम टू ए एस जी के कम्युनिटी टूडे वी आर बैक विद अन अनदर इंटरेस्टिंग वीडियो एंड द टॉपिक इज अबाउट फिशरीज इंजीनियरिंग लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू फिशरी साइंस फॉर कॉम्पिटेटिव एग्जाम्स टू बिगिन आर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज The natural fiber gets decomposed by continuous usage in water. So, uh, the decomposition is due to cellulose digesting bacteria. So, natural fibers in uh, water gets decomposed by cellulose di- digesting bacteria. Next question: What is the basic material for construction of fishing gear? The answer is fiber. Fiber is the basic material for construction of fishing gear. Next question: Before the introduction of synthetic fibers, this was the most popular fiber used in fishing gear. The answer is cotton. Cotton was most used before uh, synthetic fibers. Next question: These are the components of bast tissue of stem. Bast fiber. Bast fiber is the component of bast tissue of stem. Next question: Hemp is derived from the bast of the plant. So, which plant? That is cannabis sativa. Sixth question: What is called as hard fibers? Leaf fibers are known as hard fibers. There are other uh, other fibers also like stem, fruit, root. like next question sisal is obtained from the leaves of the plant so the plant is agava sisalana next question manila is taken from which plant manila is taken from abaca plant next coir is which type of natural fiber so coir is obtained from which type of natural fiber it is a fruit fiber next coir is derived from husk of which fruit so it is coconut fruit which polymers are formed by copolymerization it is mixed polymers mixed polymers are formed by copolymerization which fibers are made by cutting filament and are of short length so the answer is staple fiber which filament having larger diameter and each filament is strong enough to function as a yarn the answer to this question is monofilaments these are made from longitudinally split plastic tapes what are made these are split fibers next question yarn numbering system which is expressed in terms of mass per unit length it is direct system yarn numbering system which is expressed in terms of length per unit mass means this is a reverse one so the answer to this question is indirect system mass per unit length is direct system length per unit mass is indirect system next question which is the most commonly used system for denoting the yarn size so danier system is the most commonly used system which is the international numbering system recommended by iso tex system tex system is internationally rec- uh, recommended the dash help in keeping the gear at the required depth obtaining proper shape during operation so floats are used to keep the gear at required depth aluminum floats can withstand pressure up to it is 80 meter next question the dash are used to keep the net in their desired positions what are they used sinkers are used to keep the net at desired positions dan bios are used in dash net it is set gill net set gill net half dan bios dash are used to locate tuna long line gear at night light bios are used to locate long line gear 
डैश आर लार्ज एंड हैवी इंस्ट्रूमेंट डिजाइन टू होल्ड द शिप इन एनी डिजाइड लोकैलिटी एंड प्रिवेंट हर फ्रॉम डिफरिंग एट द मर्सी ऑफ विंड टाइड एंड करंट्स द आंसर इज एंकर्स नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन डैश इज फाइव प्रॉन्ट स्टॉकलेस एंकर एंड हैव वेरी गुड होल्डिंग पावर इट इज ग्रैपनल इट हैव फाइव प्रॉन्ट्स वॉट प्रिवेंट द चाफिंग ऑफ द मेटीरियल थिम्बल थिम्बल प्रिवेंट चाफिंग वॉट इज द कनेक्टिंग डिवाइस यूज इट फॉर फास्टनिंग पार्ट टूगेदर शैकल शैकल इज द कनेक्टिंग डिवाइस Prevent twisting and kinking of the lines. It is swivel. Dash is the reducing the number of meshes in concerned rows to shape the webbing. It is baiting. Dash is the altering the shape of the webbing by increasing the number of mesh in a concerned row. It is creasing. Increasing means creasing. Reducing means baiting. next question cutting of legs in each knot in the vertical direction it is point cut vertical direction cut is point cut cutting of only one leg at leg at each knot it is bar cut cutting of legs in each knot in the horizontal direction it is mesh cut it is the process of fitting the necessary ropes and accessories to make a net ready for fishing it is rigging sharp ends of the anchors are called these are called bills or puts this is for this video hope you all like it and it is very useful and important questions of for competitive exams Thank you